as the weather moved in, so did the calls for help. Six News reporter Barry Roy shows us what this sounds like for the local heroes who put themselves at risk to keep us safe. Uh, right now, everything's passable, but we have uh, sleep falling right now, and it's starting to get slick out on the roads at points. Got an engine seven, Interstate 14, and Clear Creek Road. Right after the Clear Creek exit, eastbound on the highway for a single vehicle rollover in the median. As the sleep poured down and caused havoc on our roadways, those responsible to answer did, and will continue to do so as more weather is on the way. Cross of South Dalton Street and County Road 387 for a traffic accident, unknown status. Look at the weather reports. If you don't have to be out, don't be out. But if you have to be out, be extra careful and think about that person, that other person is out there as well. Chief Gregory Summers of the Waco Fire Department says there wasn't an incident that caused him major concern on Thursday, but knows it could happen at any time here in Central Texas, rain or shine. We're not trying to flip around. There's people standing in the dang highway. Multiple now westbound at Fort Hood Street. Some of the emotions we're obviously concerned for the citizens themselves. And emotions the, can run high because those who rescue us can see themselves in that same position. You know that that could be their family member, it could be their their spouse, their kid, anybody. I've got a lot of traffic here. Last thing I need is another person going out of control, and I'm in a bad spot where I'm standing. I've got nowhere to go. So as we prepare for round two, give yourself a little extra time as those who help us hope you will. We just hope that people heed the warnings. And I want to make sure that everyone goes home. So take your time getting there. Yeah, it's, it's really severe. I have that two angles to bury me. In Temple, Barry Roy, 6 News. And Chief Summer says it is his job to make sure crews return home to their families. He hopes you will do your part to help him. And just a reminder, if you see those first responders, those police officers on the side of the road, pull over and slow down. It is the law and it could save lives.